this collection for Vienna, it's inspired from the last 16, basically the last two decades of my research and my work, my development of my style, my uh, thesis is based on my grandfather's theory and the application of yellow and the processes and why yellow being the primary color, I use it first because I learned that from my grandfather. And the several layering processes and drying techniques is involved in my use of yellows. Blue, I learned to use from my father in every aspect, from socially, conceptually, uh, aesthetically, you know, in the composition buildings. It, I construct with blue. And then my own flavor is how I, I am a dreamer. I like to dream. I like to uh, have a grand ideas and tackle uh, longer term axioms like the development of humanity as an ominid species such things conceptual and theoretical development here we this painting is titled uh, oh, my, oh my gog and this is uh, churchill roosevelt and stalin had, drinking a beer outside of the new york city bodega in german constructivist style which is a family technique of ours. Inspired also by the book of Daniel and the book of Ezekiel and Gog of Magog, also the king of the north and the king of the south, and the prophecies that are currently uh, being revealed and taking place. Oh my Gog. So I'm not finished with it yet, but these are the first stages of it. This is titled The Resurrection. Inspired by Gustav Mahler's Symphony Number no. 2. And also by Revelations 21, 3, and 4. The Grand Promise. See these magenta tones? Inspired by David Hockney. He just had a show at the Metropolitan Museum next to Michelangelo. And he's alive. Very inspirational artist, David Hockney. This painting is about having no knowledge and wielding the light. What do you do with your knowledge? What can you do? What have we done? But what do you do with your knowledge? How is it applied? How is it acquired? And what has it done for you? And what has it done for humanity in itself? constructivist 1950s but it's the view outside my studio of the last three years this was a, a, a pit and now there's a giant skyscraper that stands there so this view is no more and I used to have the view to the trade center too I don't have that view either so all of this development pre-developed Chelsea this is the own building though but the first building in Hudson Yards went up and those two other buildings, this is Hudson Yards right here. And the quintessential water tower. I no longer have that view of the water tower. So, again, Hockney Colors. New York City subway scene coming up. And then these are my, from Amsterdam to Vienna collection. composition and solid color use of perspective so I'm working now German expressionist but yet also constructivist and you know I'm gonna put some fauvism in it too bringing back the old recipes it's gonna have a bicycle on it I'm in love with Europe with Vienna with Berlin Prague, Budapest, Paris. So, say hello to my friend Malik Crumpler, the writer. City street scene landscapes coming up. These are my heavy, heavy layering. Uh, 
Amsterdam. Amsterdam. It's just titled The Wrong Side of the Tracks. <laughs> I like this. I might leave this like this. I want to take it further. The idea was to take this further overall, but I'm really liking this. So I might just leave this like that. And then uh, Portrait of a Lady and Meteorax. This is the collection. 